It's official, May was the sunniest month on record, with 266 hours of sunshine to be precise. And for many, that means there's only one place to go. So what made you come down today? The sun. <laughs> this lovely weather. There's nothing else to do for kids either, so beach it is. It's lovely, like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I hope it, I hope it continues. <laughs> I reckon as soon as the lockdown's lifted, like in August, it's going to rain, rain, rain. <laughs> I think everybody is, is keeping their distance, which is quite nice. So although it's very busy, um, everybody's aware of that, which is, is ideal. The glorious weather means many of us are flocking to beaches like this one in Margate. But as we ease out of lockdown, that is bringing new challenges. There are no lifeguards for a start, and with pubs and cafes closed, the queue for the toilets is never-ending. For the council, it's a tricky time. The beach can be a safe place, but people have got to use common sense. I mean, I would advise people not to come and drink on our beaches. I would advise people not to be reckless about going in the sea. And I'd advise people to, most of all, to maintain the social distancing, which the government's advising. England also saw its driest May on record. And during lockdown, that's meant a huge demand for water. It's a surge in demand right now that's the challenge. So we're just asking people to think a little bit about how you use water in the garden, use a watering can instead of a sprinkler, reuse the water in the paddling pool. All these little things will make a big difference. The beaches may be busy now, but rain is on the way. And that means there won't be any hosepipe bans just yet. Leila Hayes, Five News, Margate.